Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Beacons for Christ Ministry. We are in the wonderful month of September. Hallelujah. Fall is upon us, and we are in the first week. We are in the first Sunday in September. I was speaking to Brother Roger earlier this week, and he said that to me, that we are approaching the first Sunday. And I was like, oh, my goodness, yes, we are in September, folks. Hey, man, we have so much to be grateful for. We want to welcome everyone. But first, we want to give reverence to our covering pastor, Dr. Maria A. Seaman from the Spin Ministry in Bermuda, whom we love, adore, respect. We thank God for her. We give her reverence to Dr. Maria A. Seaman, our covering pastor. And we give reverence, honor, and respect to our presiding pastor, Pastor Randy Lightborn. God bless you as we hear today. Can't wait to see what God has in store and has poured into you for today. We want to give, well, first we want to welcome back our first lady and give respect and honor to Reverend Eunice Lightborn, whom we love and adore. And she is back with us, and we thank God for keeping her in her travels. Everyone that is on here on this platform live today, God bless you. We thank you. We appreciate you for taking the time to come together and worship. Hallelujah. To raise up the name of Jesus together, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves, but giving that glory, coming here, taking out that time with us. We want to thank you. And to everyone that watches this later on, God bless you. May you be richly blessed and may you not leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. D-I-T. Uh, Lachey is going to take us into the opening prayer, but first we are going to go into our opening song, As the Deer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just allow this song to seep in our soul. Just like the deer panted for the water, so our soul. Hallelujah. We want to hear from God today. Let's sing this song to the honor and glory of God. And at the closing of this song, D.I.T. is going to anoint the opening of this service in Jesus' name. Thank you. 
God. Hallelujah. We just want to come before you this evening, Father, approach your throne, Father God, just to thank you for just who you are. As the song said, all the glory and all the honor, hallelujah, and all the praise, it goes to you, Father God. We thank you, Father, for blessing us to see another week, for blessing us to join together, Father God, to worship your name, to magnify you for your worthy to be praised, Father God, not just for what you can do, Father God, but for who you are. Hallelujah. I've, I've just been reflecting on who you've been, Father God, and sometimes we must think on what you've brought us through, Father, so we can remind ourselves when the enemy is trying to plant seeds of doubt in our minds, Father God, of who you are, Father. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. You are the author and the finisher of my faith, of our faith, Father God. So we stand together. We lift up your name together, Father God, for you are worthy. We ask that you bless our covering pastor, Maria A. Seaman. We ask that you bless our own pastor, Father, Pastor Randy Lightborn. Father God, you are using these vassals, Father, for such a mighty work, Father, in your kingdom, Father, for bringing souls to be saved, Father God, to be saved from eternal damnation, Father God. But in you, Father God, we have no condemnation, Father. We are covered in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father God, for whatever we face this week, Father, we're still standing. Hallelujah. We are all still here, ready to praise you, ready to lift up your name, Father God, for all that you are, Father God. We just ask your many blessings on this ministry, Father God. We ask that you, you bless our pastor, Father, that every word that comes out of his mouth today, Father God, will come with power and authority straight from you, Father God, that it will pierce the hearts and the minds of each and every one of us, for them that will listen later, Father God, for them that do not know who Jesus Christ is, Father, I pray today that they surrender. I pray that they lay down their life, Father God. I pray that they do a change, that they allow you to come and fill them with your Holy Spirit, Father God, so that they can be used for your kingdom work, Father God, so that they can build up their reward, Father, which is in heaven. So we ask that you cover each and every one of us. We ask that you bless us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way in this service this evening, Father, and may it be a rich blessing to each and every one of our souls. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the anointing of this service for from the beginning to the end. Amen. At this time, we just want to thank you for that um, DIT Lachey for that beautiful prayer. At this time, we're going to invite Sister Lachey and she's going to do the scripture reading for today's service. Amen. Good evening, Begins for Christ. Um, so I will be reading from 1 Kings 11, 1 to 9. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love, and he had seven hundred wives, princesses, and three hundred concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For it came to pass, when Solomon was ill, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods, and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Ashtor, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after the Lord, as did David his father. Then did Solomon build a high place to Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. And likewise did he for all his strange wives, which burnt incense and sacrificed unto their gods. And the Lord was angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned away from the Lord, God of Israel, which had appeared to him twice. May God add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. Wow, wow, wow. We want to hear a word today. My goodness. Hallelujah. We are really excited about what God has in store every week. We are just a bunch of happy and excited saints of God. We can't wait to see 
what God has in store. What has he poured into our pastor? We are just so grateful for the love that the kingdom is giving us at this time. Um, our pastor, and he's going to do the back to school prayer for the children. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord specifically to all the young children that are preparing to go back to school. This is a prayer that's going to go back before you guys going back to school and to be a covering prayer for this whole school year that God will keep you and that you would know that God is with you every step of your way in this coming school year. Amen? So let us pray. Father God, I thank you for this opportunity to pray for the young school children. Father God, I ask that you will continue to remind each of them, God, in a way that they would understand, God, that you are real. And that, Father God, as they approach this coming year, God, that they need to continuously still look to you, God. Check with their parents, Lord God. Ask questions about who you are, God, so that whatever they face in this coming year, God, they would always seek you and trust that, God, you love them and that you are with them every step of the way, God. Give them each special wisdom and special discernment, even to know who to stay away from, Lord God, who may cause them problems. God, give them that courage to deal with the peer pressure that would come in this coming year, God. Give them that special desire, God, to do what is right, God, because they have been taught what is right, Lord God. Help them to continue to believe in what their parents are instilling in them, God. Help them to be able to discern some of the foolishness that they may come upon, Lord God, in their school year that is contrary, Lord God, to what they have been taught in their own, God. Help them to have the wisdom to bring this to their parents and ask for clarification so that they know, Lord God, what the truth is, Lord. Father, I pray your blood covering over each and every one of these children, Lord God, that you will protect them in their travels to school, God. Protect them as they play, God. Protect their minds and their spirits, Lord God, and help them to have success in this year, God. Lord, I pray for each parent that is represented by these children, that God, you will continue to enable these parents to be godly parents, oh God, to be praying parents over their children, God, to have that special wisdom and discernment to know how to take care of these children as you would have them, oh God. Father, this back to school prayer, God, is that you would have your way, Lord God, that your hand would be over their lives, Lord God, and keep them in all that they do, God. This prayer, I ask it, God, I ask it in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Bless each and every one of these children in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We want to send our children to school under the anointing. We want to send them blood covered in Jesus' name. So we receive that prayer. Hallelujah. We receive that prayer for and on behalf of our children. Hallelujah. May it strike the, the, the ground, this earth with authority in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. At this time, we have a wonderful surprise for you. Yes, we do. We have the Beacons for Christ Youth Choir. Yes, I said it. The Beacons for Christ Youth Choir debuting for the first time. Put your hands together for the BFCY Choir.
gives me what I need. He gives me what I need. He loves me down, down, down. My prayers go up, up, up. God gives me what I need. He gives me what I need. He gives me what I need. He gives me what I need. Amen. Wow, please, let's everyone, let's give them a hand. Debuting for the first kingdom time, the BFCY. Hallelujah. Youth Choir. Praise God. Isn't God good? Oh, my goodness. My soul has been blessed. I know. I mean, I just had tears in my eyes. Just so beautiful, just so beautiful to see them move for God's glory, moving, allowing the anointing on them. It's just beautiful. We have to pray them up in Jesus' name, keeping them before God. This is beautiful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The heavens receive that choir. Oh, yes, they did. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Let's get right into our praise. My soul is just blessed. Let's get right into our praise and worship in Jesus' name. We are soldiers. Hallelujah. We just watch these little soldiers <laughs> moving for God's grace. Hallelujah. For the goodness of God. We are soldiers in the army. Let's see the honor and the glory of God. Let's lift our voices together and send up our praise and worship a sweet smelling savor. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've got to hold up that bloodstained banner and we've got to hold it up until we die. Hallelujah. That's a command on us from God himself. We've got to hold it up. Hallelujah. As pastor says, we've got to hold the line. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go right into our next praise and worship song. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's meditate on this song. Let's agree. Let's come together as Amen. one. Hallelujah. Great are you, Lord. Holy, Great 
Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor him. Hallelujah. He's a great God and he's a gracious God and he's a merciful God and he's a loving God. And it is an honor and a privilege for us to be able to come before him. Hallelujah. To be able to worship him. It is an honor in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are excited at this point of the service hallelujah we've done some beautiful praise and worship we've had an amazing choir hallelujah we've had great scripture reading we've had great prayer hallelujah now our hearts are prepared for the word that god the anointed word that god has poured into our pastor for today and we need to hear from him hallelujah we need to hear from him. And that's the song we're going to sing. We need to hear from you. We will shut out every part of our life that is noisy. And we are going to concentrate on allowing the fullness of the Holy Spirit to saturate our vessels and to saturate this atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Let's sing this song. Hallelujah. From where you are, it's between you and God. We need to hear from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus.
Salvation is now, is now with you. Seems the world has forgotten all about you. Children are crying and people are dying. The lost without you, so lost without you. But you said if we seek, Lord, if we seek your face and turn from our wicked, our wicked ways, you promise to heal. Praise the Lord, everyone. <laughs> Praise the Lord for the truth of that song. There is no other way <laughs> but Jesus. And I thank God for each and every one of you right now. I thank God as I greet you all in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. I thank God for this opportunity for us to be fellowshipping the way that we are right now. Seeing each other's faces, I give the honor and the glory to God. I want to thank God for RIT Stacy for leading us in a very powerful uh, intercessory prayer prior to the service and her beautiful daughter, D.I.T., leading us in a wonderful, powerful opening prayer. This is very encouraging as I see us progressing and growing as a church. And I see the family unit in it and then these wonderful beautiful kids giving us our first choir song and its children. And I want us to understand that it's a beautiful historical event to have these young children come together and to sing for God. Hold them up in prayer. Hold them up in prayer. Every time I look at these little children and I see their enthusiasm, and I know the dynamics of their parents in the background, what they are doing in terms of instilling God in their lives. It warms my heart. We know that this walk as a child of God isn't easy. It's not easy 
as a parent trying to bring your children up to no God. So when I see DIT, Le Shea, and what she's doing with her kids, it just warms my heart. And now it's Saria and her beautiful son in the choir, enthusiastically singing. It warms my heart. And I just encourage us all to hold these children up in prayer because it's an enemy desiring to shift them as we desiring like a roaring lion to take them from truth and give them no hope. I just want to take this opportunity to just give God the honor and the glory for this blessing we have to have these young people singing the, the, the way that they are. Mm -hmm. Everything so far has been wonderful and, and beautiful. Uh, um, Sister Raje, uh, um, reading this scripture. I'm not going to get into the scripture right now. It's going to unfold as this text comes to being, but I want to thank her for how she read it. Everything we do, we do it as unto the Lord. And it's beautiful when I see people wanting to be part of a service and enthusiastically applying themselves. So Sister Raje continued to uh, um, let God use you because it is a blessing. As it goes out onto the highways and the byways on the internet lines, somebody's going to hear this word. And once this word is heard and is articulated clearly, the Holy Spirit has something to hold on to for that person to come back and to do work in that person's life as the Holy Spirit will work it out. But I just want to thank you all for such a wonderful and a beautiful service thus far. I look forward to allowing the Holy Spirit to bring forward a word through me so that we all can be encouraged. That song said, we need to hear from you. And that's the position we take right now. I'm going to go into prayer before we go any farther. Lord, I thank you, God, for the service. Lord, I thank you for each and every one, Lord God, who has committed their way to you, God, and his fellowship in this service thus far. Lord, I ask you to continue to move by that dynamic spirit of yours, Lord God. Continue to order my steps, Lord God, that your presence and that your power, Lord God, will be seen as I present your word, Lord God. Have your way in this message today, Lord God. May a soul be saved. May a soul be renewed and encouraged. But that in all things, your name will be glorified. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord.